look, this is what you got to do. If you don't want the quick release to be a little wobbly, 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 right? Or the wheel to have, like, space in there, right? Where you're hearing something rattling, metal on metal. It's no secret task. Just the screws need to be longer than what you actually get. You see that they come up to, like, right there and just barely hold it. But I leave one loose because you still need room <laughs> pop, to spin it bing, so you could whoop, whoosh, pull it out. You get it? So once you push in, pop, and you pull out, whoosh, that just sounded weird, bro. <laughs> Let's try this again. Bing, you need one to be. And I'm going to show you, as soon as this is over, how I utilize them same steering wheels in the actual gameplay. And, like, a little loose, so it can have room still. But the other ones need to stick out a little bit. Ping, ping. Like this, what this does, the ones that stick out, is it's pushing the other piece of metal back. Pop! A little bit. And it's filling up that little gap with these. So you don't got to be trying to glue on no rubber pieces or nothing like everybody else is doing. It's simple mathematics for complicated people. So buy some screws, buddy. Or take them out your brain cell. <laughs> A lot of wheel activity going on over here. Let me know what happened with you. Did you get the new wheels? Are you into wheels? Are you into cars? Are you a car lover? What do you do, my guy? Are you just waiting to pass out? Bob! <laughs> Bob, you know what we doing? Playing with our big boy toys. Bob, steering wheels, deep dish. Bob. That one is on Amazon on sale for like, I think 80 bucks or way less probably. But I paid around 80 bucks, something like that, when I first got it. It's amazing. I only used it a few times, but we getting back to it. Pop, but it's awesome. It throws out a little ink, so it dries up, but it dries up quick. If you want the yellow stitching, make sure they send you that one, because they send me the black stitching, but I was cool. I links, links will be in the description, so you can get the same exact wheels and stuff that I have for my sim racing and drifting. I just ordered this one with the yellow and I felt way. This is not a sponsored video. All products are bought by me. Hey, better. I didn't want to send it back because I was thirsty for a deep dish pop. So I didn't want to let it go. <laughs> Woo. Now I'm trying to buy another one. Bing. Maybe I'll buy it in two minutes. Bing. Then I got this one on Amazon also. It was on sale for 30 bucks. It's amazing. It's not a deep dish. But it's the one you need. It actually feels like, okay, I'm in a car. Then, pop, this one is actually smaller than all of them. Or it feels smaller. As you can tell, it's definitely a little tiny uh, from length than this one. Like the oval pop, you get it? But you can feel that little bit that is smaller. Like, okay, when you put this one in, this is a full-size wheel. And then you feel like, okay, I'm drifting, but it's not a full-size wheel. I don't know if you know what I mean, but it's still amazing. It still feels awesome. I will never lie to you. Pop, let's get it. We're trying to do something. Switch your rules over here. That's why you got to buy a lot of the back pieces. This back piece, when you use the quick releases, the slim quick release or whichever one, Pop, <laughs> I use that as a button because I dislike these buttons. So I fill up the hole with something else. Unless they make some awesome ones, but I'm going to try to use that one today as a matter of fact. But you need these pieces. I have two right now. Uh, I didn't know I was going to get out of control, this hobby. <laughs> My wife said, you're becoming a hoarder. <laughs> this is good hoarding, though. <laughs> anyway, boom. And we use the same wheels for our cars anyway. You get it? So I run a steering wheel factory right now. <laughs> Pop. So check this out. You need this piece. Ping. So I got two of these. I got two of the quick releases. And it comes a back piece each. 
So I gotta order more of those slim quick releases. They on sale on AliExpress for soup, not even 10 bucks. Now they go attached, pop, to another 130 something dollar device that I needed also. So that's why I budgeted out on that. And I compared it with the expensive one. And the AliExpress one is actually better, believe it or not. You just need long screws so it could push the other piece back. It's a long explanation. You can check it out in the next video. As of right now, pop, 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 pop. We're doing the whole wheel thing. There's a lot of goodies over here like cables, horn cables. Uh -uh. <laughs> Ping. Oh, I got the thing for the shaft just in case. It didn't pull out yet. Like, it was happening to a lot of people. My shaft on the, fan on the Fanatic hasn't. Uh, came out like not even a little bit like slid out so I got this just in case which is the clam the round one now this is just a piece of metal right now you could buy the super expensive one that's what tech for rec is about to show you how to save your money and use the rest for something else bing so now we got the super expensive one Right, that the company gives, and then this is the alley one. I just started ordering from Ali like three things to see if it's good. Now, everything from Ali is not from Ali. There's people selling on Ali that have nothing to do with Ali. I don't know if you understand, sort of like an Amazon thing, right? The only difference with this one and the other one, the one that you're gonna buy probably from the company or from wherever. Here's the difference, Mo Pang, so you could get a better look. Because it was a little blurry. I just noticed that, Pop. So, is that this one is not fully painted. You see it? It looks like you've been drifting with that car for a minute. Probably a long minute. <laughs> so, it looks a little vintage. So, if you want it. Like paint this solid, solid black looking crispy, bing, like a black like that. Just go or take a marker and just go pop. You get it, and you're good to go. Other than that, bro, what else you want? I think it was like five bucks. Amazing, solid. It, but I got it just in case. <laughs> Money anyway in the garbage. Now this is stuff that I've been using. You see that monitor right here? It looks kind of smaller because it's like boxed in the way I put it. But that monitor is amazing. And it's a 32 inch. It actually looks way bigger in person. It's just because that's smaller and the camera is back there. But... It's on sale at times for way under $300. So, you get three of those, you got a triple monitor set up <clears throat> with an amazing monitor that's made by the same guy that makes the Samsung uh, panels and all that for their TVs and monitors. So, he stepped aside real quick, pop, and did his own thing, and I guess that's why it looks so amazing. But it's been cool. It's not G Sync. It's uh uh V Sync, right? Uh, what you call that again? You know what it is, bro. I just can't think of the word off top. So much things. But anyway, it's still amazing, and I still use it with other G Sync monitors, like together pop. Uh, like right now, the one that's capturing this, it has uh. G Sync, right? And this has uh that what I just called uh adaptive sync. That's what it is, which is actually supposed to be a better technology than G Sync if you look it up. Uh but let's get to it and let me show you the wheels, right? And I'll place that in the link in the description also so you can get that monitor if you would want to. I've been using it for quite some time and I haven't had no problems with it at all. So I don't know. Let's get it. I ain't even gonna lie. You see these lights I'm about to turn on right here? These are floodlights that I bought and they were 
80 something bucks but then they went on sale for like 20 something 40 something and me and coast tv we caught them pop so uh they amazing though i still use them daily like for hours out and bing and they actually low you could put any color there's just one right there that's just one facing that way So normally for this, I just have it like on yellow or if I want like white, which looks like a little purplish, but it's actually white, but it's bouncing off the wall. So I don't know. Check it out. This is the actual steering wheel that I told you that is the $30 one on Amazon. And it's actually the one that I like, <laughs> the, the one I use the most. Uh, and I have way more expensive ones. Now, it didn't come with this black thing. Again, it comes with a yellow top. And in the picture where they show it to you and their advertisement, it looks like it matches the gold color here, but it don't. It's actually a yellow, yellow, the cover. But normally, nobody uses these covers. I'm just, I just wanted to use, not that nobody does, but most people are just lazy, I guess, and they just take them out, boom. If you get the slim quick release again like i said in the earlier in the beginning of the video make sure you get screws that are long enough that could push this metal piece that's in here back so it doesn't rattle that's the problem i don't have that problem it's solid once i added everything and if you want to convert it your fanatic wheelbase so you could use any third party wheel you need this and of course, you're going to need quick releases and you're going to have to do it just like this. So I'll try to put all this in the link in the description so you can get it if you want to switch to third party wheels. But definitely I'll put the wheels. And if you check other videos there, there's links to a lot of sim racing uh, and computer things so you can make your content that much greater. Hopefully you get something out of this today. Uh, I do this for the people that hit me up and say, yo, I learned something new, yo. Uh, thanks a lot. This was a lot of help. These are the people I do it for and my guys that always order something from the links. I'm a million percent grateful. All products are bought by me. Let's get to it. Check out the gameplay. Amazing. With this wheel, then we're going to try to deep this wheel. Bing. <clears throat> so here I have connected... Uh, sim dashboard right now is on is on my this is a galaxy uh ultra 24 22 i have different ones but you don't need you can use any cheap phone for this you don't need to use this exact expensive phone respectfully but i switch over to another app and then i go into the into that and you can make your own button box with that and i pay for it so it's not free. A uh, sim dashboard is definitely not free. So if somebody told you it's free, they lying. You got to pay. And I pay for the Pro and Assetto and Forza and all that. And you have the numbers. And when you switch gears, you'll see it. Everything will go up for the brake, all that. The coloration is going to be a little off because I have this set for my wheelbase. But it eats your battery fast. So... I have a cable connected right here. I have a USB-C charger port that reaches it, Pop. So you got to be smart. It's getting hot in here already. So, before I came in, I was dealing with the settings with the grass because they was eating up too much FPS, but I had it on very high. Uh, I'm going to try it on very high, but I shut this uh, cast shadows off, and I'm probably going to shut off extra effects after this. I just want to see how it looks like that. But without it, it looks disgusting. These cars are super responsive, so you want to get these cars by DCGB. I mean, P, right? Like, they super responsive with a direct wheel drive. Check it out. 
for some apparent reason, I keep my wheel at 900 in the Fnatic wheelbase thing. And then, in game, I put it at 1080. I don't know why it feels that more comfortable to me that way, but it always has. I'm trying to see. Uh, the grass don't look too bad now. I'm going to show you how bad it looks without that setting. without the setting. Let's see without the grass setting. Let's see the... Uh, well, let me see. The FPS is supposed to be like 120. Even though I could put way more FPS, I don't like to beat up my monitor. Because even though I do at times, but I, when I'm making a video, I like it at 120 so it could be smooth. Hopefully it comes out smooth. So is that 102? I don't know. Something is wrong here. Because it all went down like tremendously. Why? Like, what happened? But then again, something as simple as this grass setting being on very high from medium or high could change a lot. Even this extra effects pass. Maybe that don't even need to be on. But let's switch it to high. And let's see if the FPS. I want to do it one. It's on. Let's see if it changes much without that, too. It's still on. We shut them all off. So I'm pretty sure now it's probably going to go to regular. Like 120 FPS or something. I mean, oh, it could be the map, too. It could be the map. Some maps are heavier than others. I'm going to use the car without settings. Just straight out. The way the car comes without me putting grip or anything. The grass don't look too bad. No study. And I didn't fix the coloration or nothing. This is just coming out straight. I mean, it has color from the NVIDIA control panel. I think it's on 70 or 65. Digital. Uh, digital coloration. I'll show you right now. So, look. Doesn't look too bad. Without the effects uh, thing. And you can save some FPS. 
but when you shut it off, it looks real bad. Guy told me yesterday, you gotta drift on second. <laughs> I drift on whichever one I feel like it. I'm having fun. But anyway, check it out. What you drift on? You don't look too bad, the grass, right? Even with that coloration. Looks pretty cool. It's not about the drift, it's about the myth. <laughs> Bro, I remember when I started all this, I couldn't even do that. I would cry <laughs> for hours. Now, let's check it out, the FPS. Bop, let's see where did it go now. Uh... 114 all right you see we're getting better 114 i think it's the track because it could be the tracks the tracks do that and it didn't look too bad with that grass setting now let's shut it off so you can see how bad grass looks without that setting now it's gonna go to 125 definitely Uh, maybe the first time it don't look too bad because it's still rendering thinking it's there, I think. But as time goes on, the grass looks real bad. Look at it. You see? From before. Look, look, it's dead. Look at it, look at it. There's nothing. Remember before it was up and fluffy? That setting does a lot. But it saves FPS a little bit, but I don't need it. <laughs> Look at it, look at it, it looks like a rug. Some people like it like that. Look, 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 nothing. Look, oh my God, look at it. Oh my God, look at the grass. Now, we're gonna put it back one second. Yo, this is crazy. Look at the wall, look at the sides. Look at the sides. Holy snap. What happened to the grass? Oh my god. snap it looks crazy now let's see fps pop told you 124 that's what it was i had it off before all right so i gotta put it up a, a little bit because i like it at 120 so i have to put this here to like one four uh i don't know 
We're gonna have to figure out another thing to toggle off. Another setting that'll boost that up. You get it? So let's go back here. Let's turn this grass back on so you can see what a total difference it is. Let's just turn it on and let's just go. I'm probably gonna shut off uh, something in neck effects or maybe in particles or something. I'll figure it out. But for now, look. Look at it just on high without the extra effects. Just back on from being plain. This is what you just saw. Look at that. Magic, bro. Amazing. Look at it. Look at it. It's back. Look at the grass. You get it? Look at the road, look at everything, watch. It just looks that much more amazing. Look, all the grass on the side is back. You see it? It wasn't like that before. It was just a wall, like 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 cluster. Now, as you can see, a little better now. It's, it's passable. I got to add more grass. Obviously, right? But it doesn't look that bad now. It looks pretty decent. But the car got to be small enough. This car is kind of big. But he gets busy through here. You just, I don't know why I got him on 1080, but he feels better. So this is what I was talking about, the wheel. Now. I just like to push in. I don't like to put force on it. But remember I told you you need the, the back piece. So it goes in there and you switch it up. And then you take... the uh, So like that, you need to have a few back pieces so you don't got to keep screwing on and off. Remember, I added this here. It don't come with this wheel, this yellow thing. It comes with the black one. I switched them. So it has the back piece, so I don't got a screw. And you see the screw is longer. It's sticking out than the average screw that just be right there flat. You put it right there, pop. And then you just spin. Hold on, let me get this. I push in a little bit, make sure it's nice and even. Spin, and it's going to go clock, and this is going to pop up. See it? Ping. And it's tight. Amazing. Bing. This wheel is way heavier. This is a solid car wheel. That other one is light. You get it? So I had this on the Logitech G920 with a with a hub and a quick release on the Logitech G920. It was super heavy to just have it on a desk. Don't do that. Now, you could just have this probably in the hub, but a, a quick release and it just made it too much. This is like a little too heavy. So the, the Logitech is over there with the red wheel. See it? Pop. With that, with the, with the red, with the red steering wheel that's in the beginning of the video. Bing. If you need it, let me know. <laughs> Facts. I'll give it to you. Facts. Bing. Now let's see. Maybe it was the map. It could be the map. It's, a lot of times it's the map, my guy. It's the map. A lot of times it's the map. We're about to find out. A lot of times it's the map. It's nothing else but the map. We trying to get an amazing car? Mm. I ain't gonna lie, these cars are just super fast, bro. 
like a car like this, he's fast, bro. Super uncontrollable. Like too fast, but let's rock. Like it's like a speedo car. Watch. A monster. And he feels so monstrous, bro. Oh, I put the, I put the, I put the smoke on this car to be like a, like a yellow red. So the smoke is colorful. And I showed you how to do that in one of the videos. And I'll probably place it here in the description. But the videos on this channel on how to add color smoke to your car. For free. I give it to you. Monster, bro. Look. Let me know if you got anything out of this uh, video. Links in the description to all that. Pop, thank you. I'm a million percent grateful. Stay sideways. Stay drifting. Hashtag stream your dreams. Pop.